All right, so it occurs to me today that even though I've been out here dozens of times, oh shit, look at that. That's a huge spider web. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through here. This is a pretty major obstacle. Take this small thing and hack my, well, that fell apart. All right, I'm not exactly in Bear Grylls mode here. So anyway, it occurs to me that after all the times I've been out here, nobody's ever really seen it because I've been on a horrible uh, phone with a horrible data plan. And I'm pretty sure all you saw before were blocky patches of green and brown. So, I just dropped a bunch of money on a new phone and a new data plan, and it didn't work at all. So then six hours later, I dropped even more money on a different, or off the same phone from a different company and a new data plan. Hello. So now, I am out here to see if I had all that trouble and all that money got me. So, can you see this pointless patch of dirt and grass and trees? which is basically all woods are anyway. I need to get a stick. I am getting destroyed by spider webs. So hopefully, for the first time ever, the stuff out here will be visible. Uh, that being said, there's nothing to actually see. <laughs> it's not the same. No, I actually looked at the, uh, I looked at the exploding one. I was like, well, pro, it's a great phone. Con, it explodes. And I was kind of on the fence. But in general, I'm opposed to being destroyed by a bomb phone. So I thought, you know what? We'll get the Samsung one that doesn't explode. I did get the one that breaks easily though. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I have quite a few children at home. So this might be the only time I actually use this phone. I would love to hunt mushrooms out here. If there were mushrooms, I would be so stoked. But what we're probably gonna find is nothing except the spider webs that keep hitting me in the face that you guys can't see. That's, well, if you're a terrorist, yes, the explosions are a pro. If you're, if you're prone to, you know, not suicide bombing accidentally, then not, not so much. There used to be a creepy doll head in the woods out here, but it's been gone for a long time. So we shall see. Let me creep up this way. Can you guys actually see this now, though? I mean, is this, is this visible, or is it still just the blobs? Yeah, <laughs> if, if this phone survives till tomorrow, it'll be a miracle. So I currently... I currently own three phones with one plan between them because of the returns and stuff I had to make. The rusted bike is a different direction. I made a choice and I chose poorly and to backtrack now would be a lot of exercise. I can't deal with that. Looks like the cam is less shaky too. I don't know if it's because it, it cancels it out or if it's because I've just become more steadfast and resolute and my hand doesn't bounce around all the time. Who knows? I'd like to say I'm a better human being, but I doubt that's the case. Here's a levitating leaf. I'm sure that's in a spider web of some kind. I'm going to slowly back away. So far that's the one spider that has not landed directly in my face. He is inferior to all the other spiders anyway. The art that article was so old. The, uh, the jello one, I, I can't believe my wife and kid found that today. That was, uh, that amused me greatly. I am, I am locally, locally kinda sorta famous. Except I've been in there multiple times and nobody's ever, ever, ever recognized me. Dude, a lynx attack would be awesome. You know how many views I would get if I got torn apart by a lynx? First of all, I'm not entirely clear what a lynx is. I think it's maybe some kind of cat. Or maybe a bus? I don't know. Why would there be a bus out here? Let's go with cat. Alright. Let's keep going down this trail. Well, thank you. I appreciate your low standards. It's things like that that keep me going. Going up here and another gradual turn. This is riveting stuff, folks. Don't tune around, don't don't look away. You might miss, you know, more open dirt. So here's some traffic noises. I'm not that far from the road. So is a lynx exactly a bobcat or is a lynx like a bobcat? Because there's a difference. Because bobcats are like 12 inches tall. I mean they're just like a fierce house cat, as far as I'm concerned. Jehovah Witness would be terrifying. However, I've actually wanted them to come to my house for years. I can't, uh, I can't imagine what good uh, Snapchat material that would be. But they stay away. Although one time when we lived in an apartment, one of those religious groups gave us peanut butter and Pop-Tarts. Like, how poor do they think you are that you need peanut butter and Pop-Tarts and that will bri you know, bribe you to change your religion? And what do you even do with that? Like, do you put peanut butter between them and eat it as like a Pop-Tart and peanut butter sandwich? Have I, have I been misusing peanut butter and Pop-Tarts by keeping them separate? I don't know. It raised way more questions than it answered and I did not join their religion. So their conversion attempt failed. However, I did eat their Pop-Tarts and peanut butter separately and they were delicious. Look at that, it's really capturing the difference in light here. I, this, is, this is probably the one thing in the world that did not need, did not need high definition. 
You know what I really want to do to those door-to-door -door people who come around? Especially the Mormons, because they're all younger. I want to offer them beer. So I just think that would be hilarious. Like, let's, let's chat, but let's see, let's see which way we're going to convert this. Are you going to make me change my religion, or am I going to ruin your life with alcohol? Let's see which way that'll go. All right, let's see if we can find a different course over here. That, you know, I would say I'd join anything for beer. I mean, how are they going to know if you really convert or not? Now, if you have to actually attend weekly, that might be a deal breaker. I'm not a big fan of going places or doing things. Pop-tarts are good, but would you eat a pop-tart and peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> if I find Slender Man out here, it'll just be me running away. Actually, just kidding. I'm not a fan of exercise. I'd probably just walk away slowly, and if he kills me, he kills me. Some things aren't worth living through. Mormon. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna break diet Mormons with diet coke because there's some no no diet coke rule for in the Book of Mormon. Is that a is that a thing? I've never read it. I must admit. They said they said we is in the whole religion or we is in them personally. I mean, this is this again raises more questions than it answers. Like if they wanted to just come over and tell me about all the things they can't do, I could listen to them for hours just to you know feel better about my life. I mean, that'd be okay. And they walk away and you think, man, I'm glad I'm not you. That would be awesome. That would be like a public service. Yeah. It's, uh, and really, what kind of, you know, I can't respect any organization that wants me to join it. Like, if you want me to come to whatever you're doing, it's clearly not worthwhile. I'd like to find somebody who has a bit higher standards. I do not know who Edward Cullen is. I feel like that's a pop culture or news reference of some kind that I have missed out on, thereby failing you all. What's happening? It's me slowly walking through the woods testing out my phone, and so far, nobody's complained that they can't see anything. So it appears that the hundreds and hundreds of dollars I spent on this have paid off for this pointless woods walk. Life fitness, I, I missed the context. I think there was a conversation going on here, and I looked away. Oh no, a barrier. I am blocked by a tree but I will use my superior survival skills and abnormal, abnormally long legs to step over it. Abnormally is not a word, at least not till now. <laughs> we, are we still not far enough into the future that we, we have uh, Twilight references going on? Calling us from, from Twilight. My wife was obsessed with those books. Like She won't admit it now, but she like I didn't talk to her for a week because she, all she would do was read those books. Now, there's so much shame and embarrassment attached to it that it, she'll never admit it. But you heard it here, and I will confirm, my wife read the Twilight books and liked them. So you can all look down on her for it. If there, you know, the most vicious animal out here is probably a deer. And the last time I saw one, I just walked, watched it walk away. I have had a deer destroy my car before. I decided standing in front of me going 70 miles an hour in the dark was a good plan. Worked out better for me than him. Latest craze, huh? I don't remember what you were saying before that, but we'll go. No, she does not do... Well, actually, she read Fifty Shades of Grey, but she didn't like it. At least she said she didn't like it. I mean, who's to know? I didn't, like, you know, do a polygraph or anything. Really, I just, just let it go. The fewer questions you ask in marriage, the more likely you are not to get stabbed in the face. That's a, that's a good rule to live by. You can quote me on that. Unicorn's rules to a successful marriage. Rule one, don't give her a reason to stab you in the face. Shadow hunters? Sounds like something really lame to hunt. Shadows can't even run away from you. They're kind of attached. All right, let's move around here. So apparently, the increased uh, high definition resolution has not improved my numbers at all. In fact, I think this is probably my lowest watched video ever. That might be because it's the middle of a work day and most of you are productive citizens with jobs, which really disappoint me. I, I expected better from Twitter. <laughs> Your daughter got locked in play reading those too, huh? It's infectious, but luckily I think it's worked out in most people's systems. But clearly, clearly I should have stuck with the inferior phone. The better you can see what I'm doing and the better you can hear me talk, the less well you like me. That's another unicorn rule. Less of, the less of me, the better. Especially if you're the person, you know, my wife trying to stab me in the face. So, put those two rules together, and then you have a really, really successful marriage. Ah, there we go. You've got a perfect excuse to be home. You're retired. I do not think my wife is watching this. I'm willing to gamble on that. 
She never checks it on Twitter, but she has started checking. Actually, you know what? I take that back. She downloaded Periscope. It's entirely possible she is watching this, but she has not commented if she is. I suspect she has something better to do with her day. And I will promptly delete it off whatever feeds this pops up on. And I will go face stab free for another day. Unbroken record of it for eight straight years. <laughs> yeah, she slipped up the other day. She keeps insisting that we're done having kids. And she saw a video of how somebody got their baby to sleep instantly. She goes, we need to try this next time. And I was like, oh, there's a next time now? And she's like, oh, no, next time for somebody else. We'll see. We'll see. I'm incredibly charming, so, you know, you can't count that against you. Also, we really just have to be in the same room together to get pregnant. I mean, it's pretty a pretty simple process. We have, we, have never we have never not gotten pregnant, so that's uh, got that going for us, which is kind of life ruining. but hey, is what it is. It is actually, it's a big circle, not circle plural, because it's called a lap. If I just keep walking out and never come back, I would die. I have to at some point return to my home. All right, I have returned to the dry riverbed, and I will head across. This test has been successful. I have disappointed you in high definition. I guess that worked out. Talk to you later.